texting random numbers. Have you seen Kimberly? No, I don't know who that is. She's my six-year-old daughter. I haven't seen her in like a month, LOL. <laughs> What? You haven't tried looking for her in a month? What kind of mother are you? First, I'm a father. Don't assume my gender. Second, I've been really busy working on my drunk Squidward impression for the talent show. Drunk Squidward? That's more important than finding your daughter? It's a tough impression to get right. I order the food, you cook the food, the customer gets the food. We do that for 40 years and then we die. But first, we drink bitches. <laughs> This is a text message, so I can't hear the impression. Just picture Squidward saying it. I sound just like him. None of that is important. Finding your daughter is what's important. Ugh, I wanted to find her, but I was too busy watching CNN and Fox News at the same time to figure out what I should rant about on my Facebook. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, I like to be unbiased. You'd rather start Facebook rants than find your daughter? Some people shouldn't be parents. I agree with that when I watch CNN. I don't agree with that when I watch Fox News. Honestly, my Facebook rants depend whether or not my kooky liberal uncle or my edgy conservative nephew is online. I light the fire and watch them duel to the death. Find your daughter. What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Life in my home has been very hectic lately. I have to stare outside my window all day, making sure the crab people don't riot my home. Crab people? Who are the crab people? They taste like crab, talk like people. They're a double threat to our society. Who's gonna protect our children? <laughs> Not you! You don't even care about your own daughter enough to look for her. <laughs> Wait, I don't have a daughter. Thank God. <laughs> I have a son! That's right, a month of not seeing someone can really turn your memory to goop. You better hope I never see you in real life. Okay, I have to tell you, this is all a prank. None of this was real. I'm sorry to bother you. <laughs> I'll find it funny later. Right now, I'm just glad that such an awful father doesn't exist. Well, there are many awful parents in the world, some worse than this character. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Texting random numbers. Just escaped prison. New phone. Who dis? Is this my Uncle Louie? You couldn't wait three more years. No, my name is Chucky. I did know your Uncle Louie, though. Nice guy, but a little too touchy in the shower. <laughs> that sounds just like him. <laughs> nice to meet you, Chucky. What'd you do to get yourself locked up? Oh, dude, I did so much shit. I'm not sure if you even want to know. I do. Tell me. An old lady was walking way too fast. She was being reckless, and I didn't want her to break a hip, so I pushed her down the stairs. <laughs> That's not good. Relax. It was only two steps. She only fractured her collarbone. I saved her from herself. That got you in prison? It's bad, but doesn't seem bad enough to put you away for a while. I also was driving by a school and saw a kid being bullied. I wanted to help him, so I got out of the car and said to him, Your parents are dying! Get in the car now or else you'll never see them again. <laughs> oh, you stole a kid. That's a prison-worthy crime. I don't regret it. Some call it kidnapping. I call it kid loving. That got me about five years in prison, but I've been in there for ten due to some other crimes. Do tell. My evil twin sister was running for president of the PTA in her child's school. I colluded with Russia to ensure her defeat. Why didn't you want her as PTA president? I can't confirm this, but I believe she eats children for brunch. Why not lunch or dinner? They're not heavy enough for a full meal. Brunch? They're perfect if you season them just right. How do you know this? Did you eat a kid? Is that another reason why you were in prison? No, I never got caught doing that. <laughs> the final reason why I went to prison was for robbing a liquor store. Why'd you do that? To prevent alcoholism, it's unfortunate that 13 people had to die during the heist, but at least I saved the whole neighborhood from being addicted to alcohol for one day. It seems like every crime you committed, you did to help others. The jury didn't realize that. I wasn't even allowed to defend myself. My lawyer told me that I'd be put in a mental institution if I told the court a fraction of my reasoning. <laughs> You seem like a good guy. I'm glad you escaped prison. Hope they don't find you. Your Uncle Louie never told me why he was locked up. What'd he do? He kidnapped a bunch of kids. They weren't being bullied, though. He just liked to give kids free candy in his van. It's always the good guys that get incarcerated. Yup. Texting random numbers! What year is it? It's 2001, lol. It worked. I traveled 20 years in the past. Woo! I must warn you all about something horrible occurring in 2021. Oh no, what is it? Our brains are turning to mush because of the internet. Let me show you an example. Pink, pink, pink. Girls, girls, girls. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Twirls, twirls, twirls. Together forever. We're Linda and Heather. Best friends. Do you know what that means? Uh, no. Sounds pretty cringy to me. Millions of kids are singing this song and dancing. You want to know why? Okay. Oh no. The table is broken. What? Don't ask questions, just keep scrolling. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sometimes I wish that I could freeze the picture and save it from the funny tricks of time. What are you saying? Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lot that loves berries and cream. Uh, okay. Get your f 
Hands up, get on out of your seats, all eyes on me, all eyes on me. Please explain to me what's going on. You just experienced 2021. This is what all of our brains are like. Endless scrolling, repetitive trends that we all just love so much. It's intoxicating, we are addicted. It's scaring me, I don't wanna live in 2021. There's some better things going on. We're in a pandemic and millions of people died. How is that better? I don't like people. Facts. Facts? No one said facts in 2001. You caught me. You didn't travel in time. How dare you deceive me? You just texted me using an emoji. How did you not know this isn't 2001? I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, okay, Karen? Thanks, Obama. Apparently, I traveled back in time to 2009. Girl, I don't know what's on trend right now. I don't enjoy endless scrolling, unlike you. Well, I don't either. The only person to watch is Dan Fart. Who's that? He's the king, and you should follow or subscribe for more texting random numbers! No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> texting random numbers! Mommy, the house is haunted. I'm scared. It's okay. Just hide under your blankets and cry. I've been doing that for the last hour. You don't even know the things I've seen. I think I'm a grown-up now. What did you see? I saw Grandma. I was surprised because you told me she moved to Hawaii. Is she d d dead? Yes, I lied. Sorry. <laughs> Why am I seeing her ghost, Mommy? She always loved you. The last time I saw her, she slapped me and called me a sissy. <laughs> Don't be a sissy and you won't get slapped. <laughs> Mom, I'm so scared. I just saw Uncle Jimmy. You told me he was drinking with the fishes. Why is he in my room? No, honey. I said he drank like a fish, which is why he's dead. Did he drown? Humans can't breathe water like fishes can. No, he was a raging alcoholic. Oh. Mommy, I went to the bathroom to pick my nose and I saw my old hamster, Billy. Sorry, he died too. You told me he moved to Hawaii with grandma. <laughs> LOL, whoops. At least he died with dignity. He won the hamster world record for eating the most popcorn. He will be missed. Your father and I made that up too. He choked on a popcorn kernel and suffocated. Then we told you he moved to Hawaii. <gasps> Why didn't you tell me the truth about these things? It seems that honesty is a challenge for me. Mommy, are you a pathological liar? Yes, sorry. <laughs> Does Hawaii not exist? No, sweetie, it doesn't. Okay. Texting random numbers. He watches me while I sleep. He knows when I'm awake. He knows if I've been bad or good. I try to be good for goodness sake. Are you talking about Santa? No, I'm talking about my stalker. I don't know why he hasn't finished me off yet. I'm tired of living my life like this. I don't know who you are, but have you called the police? Yes, they never find any evidence of him. They think I'm crazy. It's like only I could see him. Maybe you're just seeing things? It's real. I know he's real. He's pale white, very skinny, and drools when he looks at me through my window. I only see him for a split second, and then he disappears. You're scaring me. I'm so sorry you have this evil being stalking you. I hope he dies. I think he already is dead. You think it's a ghost? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's evil. Are you a girl? Yes, why? How old? Why do you want to know? I want to know if you're hot. <laughs> really? Maybe the evil ghost guy is in love with you. He really should just be a man and tell me. I might just like him back. He's a scary, evil monster. Why would you like him back? Yes, he's scary, but his stalking ways are kind of hot. What is your age? I'm 22. You're a little bit older than me, but since you're so desperate, want to go on a date with me? Are you pale, skinny, and a drooler when you stalk the woman you love? No, but I could be then you're not my type. Sorry. You're probably not even hot. I'm so hot. It's like the hottest girl in the world. So hot that an evil monster wants me. You're probably gross and smell bad. That's why he wants you. I smell like your mom. Damn, you smell amazing then. <laughs> Goodbye, stranger. I hope you find the woman of your dreams. And I hope your evil ghost stalker likes you back. He's a lucky guy.